right here along with Maddie. Hello, Maddie. Hello. Today, we're adjusting the water temperature on this Temptrol shower faucet. This is going to be a really easy little fix here. It's not even really a fix. It's just increasing the water temperature, seeing that it's a little cold when it's at its full hotness. First step is you see that we have a drain here and there's no way of covering it. Well, you probably want to cover it, and I'll use a face cloth to do that, because we're dealing with a couple small parts, and if they fall down, they could potentially fall through those holes, and then we won't have them anymore, and we'll have some problems doing this today. Now, if the little parts fall, they will not go into the drain. We're going to have to take this handle off, and I have to use a small flat screwdriver just to get in here and pop this cover off. Step two is just to take out this little Phillips head screw right in the middle of the handle here, so we'll do that next. Lefty Lucy. And again, don't lose the screw because you're gonna need it. When you take off the screw, just know it has one of these little things on there too in case it falls off. It's just a little washer, if you will, for the screw. Next step, you just pull the handle right off. Just try to remember exactly how it was where you left it. So mine's a little off-centered from the off. And just pull it right off. Now, believe it or not, it says the direction's right on here. And I wanna see if I can get this in there. It says, to limit temperature of water discharge, Remove this dome cover and open valve to make to des to max desired hot. All they're saying basically is you unscrew this out, this part right here. You just turn left. It screws right in here. The threads are right here. No need to turn off the water. And then, if you notice right here there is a flat head screw and all you're going to do is you're going to turn that whatever way it takes to make the water hotter or colder so there's a little set screw right here it's a phillips head you turn it to the left it'll make it warmer you turn it to the right it will make it colder so i'm going to turn it counterclockwise to the left to make this a little bit warmer and then we're gonna have to test the temperature and make sure that it's where we want it. To test the water, we don't have to put everything back together again because you might have to adjust this again. We're just gonna put the handle back on by pushing it on there the way it was, taking our screw and just screwing it back on. We don't have to put everything else back on right now. We'll do that once we have the temperature we want. To get the temperature of the water, just get a glass, a thermometer. I'm gonna hold it with one hand like that and I'm gonna let it fill at its maximum hotness basically. So I'm gonna let the shower run for about a minute or so full hot and we'll see what the maximum temperature is pretty hot so uh it might be too hot but we'll check let the glass fill pour a little bit out to get too full and keep filling that's about 101 that's uh a lot better than what it started out as which was around 96 degrees i think i'm gonna leave it like this and see if my wife says that it needs to be hotter or not because it's it's pretty good right now 101 is fine uh, a lot of places do not want the water to go scalding for 120 degrees because 120 degrees is what you set your water heater to usually once you're done just turn the shower off and all that's left to do is to put everything back together now that we have the water temperature where we want it just unscrew the handle with that phillips head screw don't lose any screws. You might want to replace that face cloth down on the drain. Okay, take the handle off. And now we're just going to put back the parts in reverse. Take your cover. You got to put it right on top and the threads that it goes against it right here. So put it on there. Catching on those threads right on the end. And then you turn right just to tighten it down. It's plastic, so you don't want to over tighten. You don't want to give it the force of God or anything like that. Just screw it on there till it gets tight. Our next step is to put the handle back on. Remember the way it was. Right about like that for me. Then you take the screw to put it back in. Handle here. Screwing it back in. And then finally, just push the little button back in the center there. Which covers the screw. And there you go. Your shower is now at your temperature that you desire. And just remember, left on that little adjustment screw to go hotter right or clockwise to go colder that is how you adjust the temperature on your temp troll shower 
faucet. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate all your support. Thank you and have a great day. Bye. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.